Dear students, please note down the PDF file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture. Please download your notes. Dear students, in today's lecture, I will cover two important topics. Nervous system of Arthwom, Faritima Postuma, as well as on the request of several students. For the nervous system of Hirudin area, the cattle leech. In today's lecture, I will explain both nervous system. Nervous system of Arthwom and nervous system of cattle leech. Dear students, first of all, I will discuss nervous system of earthworm. This nervous system of earthworm that consists of three parts. Center nervous system and this center nervous system which lies in the center of body and its second part is that is peripheral nervous system and in this peripheral nervous system the nerves which arise from the central nervous system and supply the nerves to different body parts and the third part of nervous system in case of ferritima that is autonomic nervous system that controls autonomic actions of body it means dear students please note down in case of ferritima in case of arthwom all three nervous systems, central nervous system, CNS, peripheral nervous system, PNS, as well as autonomic nervous systems are well developed. First of all, I will cover the central nervous system. Dear students, this central nervous system which lies in the center of body, in the middle part of body, and that nervous system, CNS, consists of following parts. First part is a pair of suprapharyngeal ganglia. Dear student, a pair of suprapharyngeal or these are cerebral ganglia which represent brain. These a pair of suprapharyngeal ganglia which lie above the pharynx. So these are named supra pharyngeal ganglia. These are a pair of cerebral ganglia which lie in the third segment of body. A pair of subpharyngeal ganglia. Dear students, a pair of suprapharyngeal which lie above the pharynx and these a pair of subpharyngeal ganglia which lie below the pharynx in the segment number fourth and both supra and subpharyngeal ganglia are connected by a pair of peripharyngeal connective it means these a pair of peripharyngeal connective which join both supra and subpharyngeal ganglia as a result a ring develops around the pharynx and in this central nervous system the fourth part is that is a double solid ventral nerve code dear students not down today i am discussing nervous system of arthwom it is non codate it is invertebrate in case of dear students non codates the nerve code is ventral but in case of chordates in case of human beings the nerve code is dorsal our nerve code is hollow which is dorsal but in case of arthwom in case of ferritima in case of non chordates invertebrates as in case of ferritima this nerve code which lies on the ventral side of body mid ventrally it runs it is a single double ventral nerve code which is solid and its fourth component is that is in each body segment segment number fifth up to the last segment in each segment one segmental ganglia 
it means in case of cns central nervous system which lies in mid ventral part of the body and this central nervous system consists of a pair of suprapharyngeal ganglia or cerebral ganglia which lie in segment number 3 above the pharynx below the pharynx a pair of subpharyngeal ganglia which are present in segment number 4 both supra and subpharyngeal ganglia are connected by a pair of peripharyngeal connectives around the pharynx as a result a ring develops around the pharynx in segment number 4 dear students from segment number 5th onward in each segment of body it means these segmental ganglia are metameric one segment having one ganglion and each segment from segment number 5th onward up to the last segment one solid ventral segmental ganglia are present and dear students this mid ventral solid it is double ventral narrow cord that runs just behind the segment number 4th up to the last segment now the peripheral nervous system peripheral nervous system that consists of nerves which arise from the central nervous system and supply the nerves to different body parts in this peripheral nervous system the nerves which arise from the suprapharyngeal or cerebral ganglia these are the nerves for prostomium and buccal cavity dear students from the peripharyngeal connectives the nerves which supply to the first segment means peristomium and second second segment of body and the nerves which arise from the subpharyngeal ganglia we supply the nerves to the segment number 3 and segment number 4 and from segment number 5 onward in each segment the segmental ganglia and from this segmental ganglia three pair of not down dear students competition students three pair of segmental nerves arise from each segmental ganglia out of these one pair of nerves arise from anterior region while the two pair of nerves arise from the posterior part of each segmental ganglia dear students from suprapharyngeal ganglia the nerves which supply to prostomium and buccal cavity from these subpharyngeal connectives the nerves we supply to segment number first peristomium and segment number second and from this subpharyngeal ganglia the nerves we supply the segment number third and fourth from segment number fifth onward each segmental ganglia gives three pair of nerves a pair of anterior and two pairs of posterior nerves from each segmental ganglia dear students in case of autonomic nervous system in autonomic nervous system that consists of a network of nerves named nerve plexus and these nerve plexus are present beneath the epidermis in the muscles of body and dear students in the elementary canal these nerve plexus these networks of nerves are connected with the peripharyngeal connectives to control the autonomic actions of body this is all about nervous system of earthworm in which 
three types of nervous systems are well developed central nervous system that lies in the middle part of body central line of body and the peripheral nervous system that consists of nerves and these nerves which arise from central nervous system and innervate which supply the nerves to different body parts and the autonomic nervous system that consists of the plexus the network of nerves mainly present in epidermis just beneath the epidermis in the body wall and in the muscles of body as well as dear students in the alimentary canal they produce plexus which innervate to the subpharyngeal connectives now on the demand of on the request of several students today's lecture i will discuss another important topic that is nervous system of hirudinaria leech the cattle leech in case of hirudinaria again three systems are well developed dear students central nervous system peripheral nervous system autonomic nervous system like earthworm in case of earthworm the body segments are about 100 to 120 but in case of leech the cattle leech the hirudin area the body is divided into 33 segments two suckers are there anterior sucker and posterior sucker and that posterior sucker lies from segment number 27th up to the segment number 33 it means seven segments are present in posterior terminal part of sucker in case of leech the central nervous system that consists of a pair of cerebral ganglia or dear students these are like in case of earthworm these are cerebral ganglia or these are suprapharyngeal ganglia a pair of suprapharyngeal a pair of cerebral ganglia then in segment number 5th of leech the cattle leech a mass is there below the pharynx that is subpharyngeal ganglionic mass dear students just above the pharynx a pair of cerebral brain or suprapharyngeal ganglia and below the pharynx a mass is there a ganglionic mass is there and that's that mass is formed by the fusion of four ganglia dear students one two three four ganglia are fused in case of this cerebral this brain two ganglia are fused but in case of this subpharyngeal ganglionic mass four ganglia are fused and both supra and subpharyngeal ganglionic mass are innervated by a pair of peripharyngeal connectives like earthworm and segment number 6 up to the segment number 26 dear students this is a solid mid ventral double nerve coat and in each segment from segment number 6 up to the segment number 26 each segment is solid segmental ganglia is present and in segment number last means in posterior sucker in terminal part a terminal ganglionic mass is present it means in case of central nervous system in case of leech the following parts are there a pair of cerebral ganglia brain or suprapharyngeal ganglia below the pharynx a mass of ganglia that is formed by the fusion of four ganglia it is sub pharyngeal ganglionic mass and this ganglionic mass which lies below the pharynx both sub and supra are connected by a pair of peripharyngeal connectives and the next part is mid ventral a solid double nerve cord runs up to the segment number 26 and dear students in the posterior sucker 
सेगमेंट नंबर ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ अप टू द थर्टी थर्ड सेगमेंट ए टर्मिनल गैंग्लोनिक मास इज दियर नाउ पैरिफर नर्वस सिस्टम इन दिस पैरिफर नर्वस सिस्टम ए पेयर ऑफ नर्व ए पेयर ऑफ नर्व विच अराइज फ्रॉम दिस सैरिब्रल गैंगलिया and these first pair of nerves which supply the nerves to eyes first pair of eyes dear students these are optic nerves as well as these first pair of nerves supply to prostomium to buccal region and from this sub pharyngeal ganglionic mass One, two, three, four. Dear students, four pairs of nerves. From this subpharyngeal ganglionic mass, one, two, three, four pairs of nerves, which supply two, second eye, third, fourth, and fifth. As in case of leech, in case of cattle leech, hirudin area, five pairs of eyes. one pair in first second third fourth and fifth segments and dear students in each segment number 6th up to the segment number 26th in each segment is segmental ganglia each segmental ganglia gives a pair of anterior lateral nerves and a pair of posterior lateral nerves while in case of earthworm each segmental ganglia gives three pair of nerves a pair of anterior and two pairs of posterior but in case of this cattle leech each segmental ganglia gives a pair of anterior lateral and a pair of posterior lateral nerves and the last terminal ganglionic mass which is present in the posterior sacral dear students that also gives seven pairs of nerves one pair of nerves in each segment from 27th up to the 33rd segment because the posterior sacral that includes last seven segments and in autonomic nervous system like earthworm in case of leech the autonomic nervous system that also develops nerve plexus just beneath the epidermis in body wall dear students in the muscles of body as well as the nerve plexus develops in the alimentary canal and these nerve plexus are innervated with the peripheral connectives which control the autonomic actions of body it means in case of earthworm as well as in case of leech the cattle leech the hirudin area all three systems are well developed central nervous system peripheral nervous system and autonomic nervous system central nervous system that lies in the center middle part of the body and the peripheral nerves which arise from the central nervous system and innervate the different body parts while the autonomic nervous system that consists of plexus in the epidermis in the body muscles and dear students in the alimentary canal this is all about nervous system of earthworm as well as nervous system of cattle leech the hirudin area dear students in tomorrow's lecture we will discuss very important topic reproductive system of earthworm thank you